Hey everybody, welcome back. Finally getting to some real content on these reworks and some of that uh, kit stuff that's come out recently. Sorry to deal with some kit stuff that I was, uh, gotta do the family first, right? So focused on that, uh, now jumping back into this. You guys are probably very familiar with the kits already at this point, so this video is not necessarily about that. Uh, I will go through them so that I can give my commentary on it if you are interested in that. But uh, the part that I thought that maybe most might want to hear is the stats related to these Avengers. So we're going to look at the Avenger specific kit stuff and the Avenger specific stat changes and how that kind of shifts them around on that stat board. So if you're interested in checking that out or hearing about it and hearing me and my opinions on things, I think I'm going to go talk about it here in just a few seconds. Okay, so like I said, rework. And again, I'm not really gonna go through every single, like this was the old one. I'm really gonna try to hit the fine points and talk about how these guys are gonna work a little bit. So Captain America, his basic, the only thing that changed here was instead of a 30% chance to chain, that you're guaranteed a chain from one to two targets. So I like that. The guaranteed chain to at least one is fantastic. Uh, for 170% damage, you know, it's better than 30%. Does it really do much in the, uh, I guess the big scope of things? No, I don't think it does. It's nice, but this is not on the radar for me for when people are like, oh, Avengers rework, super exciting. This part, not, um, it, it's great, but it doesn't, it doesn't turn the dial for me. So next up here is his ultimate. Now, the big thing here is that, and this is when he sh uh, throws his shield and clears positive effects. So the old one was five out of five uh, energy costs. Now it's only three out of three. So in theory, he should be using this a lot more. Uh, the, all, the other change on top of that is instead of chaining from one to two, it's chained to two to three. I'm assuming that's probably a T4 in there. Uh, and then the other change in here is if this character has one or more wave one Avenger allies, you also gain speed bar. Now the part I do like about this obviously is the energy so you can use this more often to clear uh two positive effects which is pretty nice uh nothing crazy but especially with some of the positive effects that are out there these days but it's nice that this is a low cooldown and you're expecting to use this guy with wave one avengers so that 60 percent speed bar you, you might as well expect it so that part I, I i like it's pretty nice again there's probably a t4 in that speed bar which i don't know if i'd do it for an extra chain and a speed bar unless it's like 30 or 40 percent but it is a, uh, this one is, it's like, all right, oh, I, I can dig this energy change here, clearing some things, pretty sweet. Now, the special had some changes, that'd be sick. Uh, all right, so it's passive. This is the other part that definitely moves the dial here on Captain America. Uh, you get an additional 10% block amount on his passive, which is great. The biggest part here in my mind is the 20% block chance per Avenger ally. So if you've got four Avenger allies, that's 80% block chance plus the 25% block chance that he has. Okay, so he's blocking. Assuming there's an Avenger on the board, or three to four Avengers, he, this dude's blocking. And again, it's 20% block amount. And there, again, there's probably T4s in that, but this is, this is good. You want Captain America to be taunting and people going at him, and this is the way he should be. Captain America's meant to block and get people to come at him and use that shield. On death of a wave, this part's interesting. On death of a wave one Avenger, heal all allies for 10% of this character's max health. This part, it's nice, um, but I feel like it's just okay. Uh, I, I don't, this seems like a war type dynamic for me. I don't know if it'll move the dial for much. Uh, it doesn't give me sustain on defense, so I wouldn't necessarily want to do that um, because you're just picking people off and you're slowly making it harder for somebody to kill you. Um, but whereas on an offensive team, it might be nice to make sure that you get that kill in. So, um, no, but again, the part that I don't love about this as well is like, well, you want Captain America taunting. So, wait, if, if other Wave Avengers dot one dot, they die, then he's healing. It's, uh, it's, well, I want him to get attacked and die first. Not anyway. So that part I struggle with a little bit. It's not, it's good. I love the block amount. That part, I'm just kind of like, yeah, we'll see. So the other part here is he gains another additional 20% max health, um, which is awesome from his passive, and you don't know what the T4 is there. 
Uh, Wave 1 Avenger allies also gain health, and in war you gain additional health. So this part for me is good. It seems like this is like war based as far as the stats go with the health. And again, I'm thinking just at looking at this, probably an offensive team. Next up is Black Widow. She got a bunch of stat increases, which we'll look at in the spreadsheet in a second. Personally, I've got a six red star Black Widow that I've never really gotten to take advantage of. Tried using her on uh, Arena for a while. It just never really held. It was past her prime. So you gotta love that. The assist to counterattack, now it does clear a positive effects on her target when she assists and counters. So I like that, that's awesome. Her ultimate, the th main thing here, and I, and maybe I'm biased because I have six red stars here, the part that I love about this is the real change here is if Hawkeye is an ally, always chain to three targets. When this game first started, the arena meta was about whether Black Widow would chain or not on her ultimate. She did, and she got a bunch of bleeds on everybody. Typically, you'd win that arena match. If she didn't, and the AI got it, you'd probably lose. So I love seeing this where it's like, this is how you can guarantee Black Widow to get that chain. I've been, it's so annoying to get her and be like, oh, cool, she didn't chain again. Awesome, she stunned and didn't chain again, no bleeds. So for me, I love this. I think it's fantastic. It makes, and again, I might be biased with the six red stars, but with her a little bit of stat increases and that, I'm already loving what she's doing here. Her passive. The adjustment here is specifically that she applies death proof on an allied Hawkeye. So it's like, okay, um, and this is a this is applied, uh, you're talking about the speed and being applied uh, after this uh, character has taken an action. On stealth, she's gaining, she's gaining off its up, which she always did, and applying uh, death proof to an up, uh, allied, allied Hawkeye. So anytime she uses that special to go into stealth, she's putting a death proof on Hawkeye. Now, I don't know if they're going to stack. I don't expect them to, but that would be awesome if they did. If they just started, so it made it harder for him to go down. Be pretty sweet. And then gain assist now on an, ac an allied Hawkeye's turn. And you'll see that in his stat, in his kit in a second. So you really like that dynamic between the two of them. But my biggest thing here is probably uh, the, uh, the chain and then depending how Hawkeye is, which we'll see in a second, you know, keeping him around longer with the death proofs. So he gets a stat increase. Probably the biggest thing to focus on here is the fact that his speed jumped to 131. We'll check that in a second. His basic, the only real thing change here is the, the crit chance went up by 5% and the crit damage uh, went up by 30%. There wasn't originally crit damage in here, so the crit damage is nice. He still hits pretty hard, uh, or he did, no, I'm sorry, the opposite of that. He does not hit pretty hard. So I would have loved to see a damage boost for him too, but... So anyway, that one's not really moving the dial for me. Special, this is when he's, you, you know, clear, reducing speed bar on the uh, primary target and clearing buffs. This time, it's um, you, all, you don't just attack the primary target, you also attack the adjacent targets and reduce their speed as well. So that part, um, I really like, and you're clearing all positive effects. I like that, um, th that adjacent targets for the damage and the speed bar. I think it just helps be a little bit better. So move the, move the dial again, eh, not, not a ton, but it's not bad. All right, so the ultimate. This one's probably his main gain here is that he gets one more energy on the start of a turn, so he's gonna be using this sooner, which again is really nice, especially that he's fast. Maybe with Captain America, he's getting some energy, which is awesome. On this, you're attacking all enemies for the same, but you're also applying slow. This team does need to apply slow. I like it. I would love if that was a two turn slow. I think it would have made him a little bit better, but um, he is so fast that it's probably gonna last for most characters that you're attacking for quite a bit. Uh, and then all the other blind stuff stays the same. His passive, uh, the main thing here is on turn, attack the most injured enemy with stealth for 200% damage plus clear stealth. So now on turn, before it was 50% chance to attack an enemy for stealth. So now it's on turn, you're doing it. Now T4s, uh, we'll see, I mean, it probably is. And then there's the added gain assist now on a Black, Wid a Black Widow's turn. So again, assist for the two of those. And this is where you're gonna get that Black Widow uh, buff clear that it mentioned in her basic or assist. Hulk. Another rework for Hulk, even though my Wolverine is still sitting there with no reworks. Hulk's now on a second one. Come on, Scopely, give me something. Uh, special, which is his taunt. The main thing here is that he's gaining three counters when he taunts. Okay, that's cool. Um, the other part, where is it here? Uh, he's healing for an additional 5% of his max health. All right. that's The counters are great. It's nice. He'll attack more uh, if somebody hits him. 
okay you know uh the the five percent more max hp mm, we'll see uh, again not really moving the dial for me passive when an enemy attacks and wave one avenger fill speed bar by 50 percent. this part i love because uh now i don't know if it means him I, it means i wouldn't taunt with him much unless it means it accounts for him so if it's kind of like a juggernaut effect when magneto's around if you're attacking him the speed bar fills up if that's happening with hulk here for himself too then yeah taunt away um, but I do like this a lot, regardless of whether it works for him. I, getting his speed bar going so he can go faster, uh, using his ultimates, all that kind of thing more, maybe potentially taunting, great. While taunting, gain an additional 250% extra resist. I also like that because when he's taunting, you want them to be forced to hit him with those counters. Again, is it great? It's all right. We'll see. If you have a big Hulk, it's probably pretty nice, but uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be you know, gearing this guy up to T14 or anything like that. Iron Man, he got his health increased by 10%. Check the stats out, but that does nothing for me. Uh, his special, the, the adjustment here is that you're attacking all enemies for an additional 50%. Okay, nothing again. Uh, oh, and that's only if Captain America is your ally. So, all right, uh, this is not going to take him off of power armor for me. And then his passive is now... Uh, he gains 5% damage for each power armor or wave one Avenger ally. So he gets additional damage if he's with the wave one, wave one Avengers. So I'm not personally taking him off of, um, power armor at this point. It gives the potential for that, but who are you going to put on there? You could put vision back on there, but he's doubling up a little bit with the defense up. Well, he's doubling up completely the defense up with, um, uh, Ironheart. And then the ability block, eh, it could go on one other person. And he's got the cleanse for his ult. Okay, maybe you're going to throw Vision back out there. But BKV, um, I don't know. I, I like that defensive team. They're a little bit annoying and makes somebody use a decent team on them. Thor, no, he didn't get any stat boosts and he probably shouldn't. The only change here is in his passive when, uh, again, additional damage for uh, not just Asgardians, but Wave 1 Avengers. Uh, on turn, um, it's the same thing. It's uh, heal self for 5% of max health plus 5% max health per wave one Avenger ally. So he's basically healing a good amount. And then he gets that charge if somebody attacks a wave one Avenger ally, just like he does with Asgardians, which is nice if you're going to pull him off Asgardians, which don't do. Do not take Thor off the Asgardians because you don't, unless you can find someone else to put on there. But right now, that's a big part of making them a formidable war defense is that he's there uh to build those charges and get stealthed by loki and hit you and uh, loki stoke stealths everybody else he hits you so the kits um look cat that's nice for thor but i can't see myself pulling him off of uh off of the asgardians iron man kind of the same thing so now i'm already down two of these guys with not changing anything Hulk, okay, you know, it's fine. It's not bad. Uh, Hawkeye, uh, Black Widow, and um, Captain America. So those four for me are definitely, okay, yeah, I'm going to group those four up. Um, who am I going to put as the fifth? I don't know, man. I guess I suppose you could do an Ant-Man type to get some more slows out there. You know, some ability blocks. I'm not sure I'd build them up, but you know, there's going to definitely be some theory crafting and war attacks to see what this team can actually go against. So that's the change in the kits. Let's get to what you're probably waiting for anyway, and that's the stats. Okay, so the stats. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have a giant spreadsheet which basically ranks all the stats for the characters in the game, so you can see on a stat basis how these characters compare to each other. Uh, this is I've got a baseline for this that I get from MSF.GG. Level 75, 7 yellow stars, 4 red, T14, 25% Stark tech, passive level 4. So, uh, again, like, so the first one you see up here is Black Widow. Now, this is her old one. She got some stat boost. But all these different stats I got rankings on. And you come over to the side and it's like her average rank amongst those stats is 91.5. Which is actually pretty low considering she's got number one in uh, speed. So, she was pretty bad stat-wise previously. So, let's just scroll up and see how we get someone. She was at 136 Thor. He's at 129. Again, he didn't get really any big stat boost here, so there's really nothing to talk about. You know, overall, his stats aren't great, but again, it's probably because his focus and resistance are so low. Uh, he does have good health, damage, and armor, which is kind of what you want from him anyway. Black Widow, new. So again, we don't know. It's a 10%. It's roughly 10%. That's what that tilde is in front of it. So her health rank jumped up to 126, uh, and she went from the 136th ranked character in the game to 113 so not a huge boost there 
Uh, the damage to 119, armor, you know, the focus went up a lot to 34 from 55. Uh, the damage was 131, which so now it's 119. Okay, you know, her speed's still the same, which was a big part of her kit anyway. Uh, again, that's not... I'm, I'm not super excited about that. The focus is probably... Uh, the biggest thing there where it's get you know get the, the get the bleeds on there and get the stuns all right cool uh hulk again he's at 106 there was no real changes there so nothing really to see scroll 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 captain america he's at 60th again that's not okay you know it's 60 it's not bad i mean he's pretty average across the board which is kind of what you'd expect from cap iron man he got some changes but before he was at 40th and he's got a high armor rank so that helps him there. You really want to see a high damage rank, which he's got. Uh, health rank's a little bit low there, but, you know, let's see where he actually lends up. All right, so a bit of uh, above that is Iron Man new and Hawkeye new. Um, and we, um, actually, I didn't get Hawkeye there. So I had to jump back in there and uh, get Hawkeye again. His old Hawkeye was at 84. So we, we come all the way up to 29. So Hawkeye's stat bump is great. Uh, all the way from 84 to 29. So that's nice to see. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things there is obviously his uh, speed jumped to four. So that's a that's a big reason why he jumped up. Iron Man, again, he didn't get much change there, but it was enough to kind of get him uh, quite a bit higher. So that's kind of nice to see. But again, we need to see where these are at once this, once they're actually in game because we don't know exactly what the stats are, but we changed that specific one. And that's it. So, uh, you know, again, I'm not... I, I don't know. I mean, I want to see... A theory craft where these guys might counter somebody I could they're definitely not terrible or as terrible anymore uh, I think I could see a lot of newer players potentially building these guys if they need them to do something uh, maybe a bit for the early game I'm personally not going to do anything crazy yet until I can theory craft or see some sort of uh, use for these guys on maybe war offense if the doom campaign war whatever it's called uh, is going to require these Wave of Avengers to be super strong, then okay, that makes sense. You need them to be super strong so that they can get through that campaign. Uh, if not, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much it moves the dial for me. It's not bad. I'm happy. You know, it makes them better. That is a good thing. So anyway, sorry it took me so long to get to this video, guys. I had to get through some stuff, like I said, work, family, kid stuff, etc. Uh, and uh, hopefully this kind of shed some light on my opinions. I'll definitely still do the other stuff. I'll get my stats into those other ones that came out give you my thoughts and opinions on that obviously you know some of its uh, interpolation but this one is we know roughly what it is but we just don't know exactly so I'll, once we get to the final ones i'll do uh, a little update there so hopefully if you want to discuss this further you can come to the discord that links in the description below want to hammer down on that like button subscription bell notification button all that kind of good fun stuff until next time i hope you have a wonderful day